okay, so this is round two. Uh, I have news. <laughs> I'm going to try and make this video shorter than the one I made just now, though, because it turned out to be about five minutes, and I want to condense it a bit more than that. Um, now I am on the azithromycin as well as the doxycycline. I've been, I've added that in about a week ago, and things have happened, and that's why I'm making this video. Um, I can't say for sure what is down to what, so please bear that in mind. I was relapsing before I started the antibiotics. Um, the first thing, which has been absolutely horrific, if I'm honest, was that I spent five days, pretty much, crying constantly. I'm not talking about the <laughs> things, I mean just walking around with tears rolling down my face, I was, I felt so depressed. I've never felt like that in my life, I don't think. Um, it was just horrible. Um, every fibre of my being was depressed. It was as if somebody had control of my brain and was making me suffer and feel miserable. Um, I, I have to say, you see, I'm not a, I'm not a, a huge crying person. That's that's not really me these days. Uh, I'm very much more of the trying to pick myself up, find something positive to do instead. You know, stay on a good course, stay happy, don't let yourself get too down because it only makes things worse. So this is completely unlike me. And even my and my friends said to me, "Are you sure this isn't those antibiotics? I've never seen you like this. Never heard you like this." It was weird and it was bizarre and it was horrible to be in the middle of it. Um, but <laughs> I survived. I don't feel like it's completely gone, I'll be honest. I don't feel quite myself again yet. But I feel better than I did. So, and, I, and I know, thinking about it now, I know what it is. I can control it, you know, it's, it's, I can rationalise it and it's fine. Um, having said that, I'm still flying off into tempers and moods and feeling down quite easily, so maybe that's just me. Anyway, that's the one thing, and that's just something to warn people about, because from what I've heard, I'm not the only one who's who's been through that, and I'm sure I'm probably going to go through it a lot. At least I know now. The other thing is you can actually see my face is all puffy. It's It's been sort of going this way since I started. It's just, and I can feel it. It feels warm, hot and puffy. Why? I don't know. You can see it though. I mean, I normally have some semblance of cheekbones here and they're not really there anymore. My under eyes are puffy. All around here feels puffy as well. What that is, I don't know, but it's definitely come along, come around um, since, since being on antibiotics. Um, yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. I feel under par. I do feel under par. Um, I, my um, vision, <laughs> such a hard word to find, my vision isn't great, it's quite sensitive. But the one thing I will say is that yesterday, as I was walking around the field with my dog, I did get a strange feeling that everything felt a little bit more clear. My vision's pretty pretty screwed. I've had a quite bad optic neuritis. Everything does tend to be quite fuzzy, blurry, grainy, wrongly coloured, etc, etc, etc. Um, but I, I, it was, it's weird. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say for sure. I didn't feel that convinced. Um, but I'll keep an eye on it and let you know what I find. Um, whether it sort of continues, whether it gets better. But the other thing about that as well I know is that because I'm on almost completely raw diet, I know that the one thing that really is supposed to help is, uh, vision. So it could be that. I don't know. Oh, something else, um, yeah, food, food, eating. I mean, I'm losing weight. Uh, I'm finding it quite hard to eat some decent meals at the moment because I feel a bit sick most of the time. But that's okay. Um, just goes to show that I'm not getting fat, so that's not why my face is puffy. <laughs> I am actually losing weight. Um, I think, uh, I, I don't think it's the same for everybody though. I think. I always knew that I respond badly to drugs. General medicine I don't do well on. I generally get every side effect under the sun. And it's not because I'm whinging about everything. It's just that I'm sensitive. Um, but you know, I'm do I'll do my best to deal with it. Um, 
as far as I know, the majority of people do fairly well on just these two that I'm on at the moment. And um, you're the lucky buggers. <laughs> but I mean, ho hopefully this is going to calm down because it's just been a bit silly this week. Um, <laughs> I honestly think it's probably just me though, so I wouldn't worry if I was you. I think the majority cope fine. Um, now that's that's my report from this week, and hopefully the next one will be a bit better. Um, but actually, the next video I want to do will be about supplements because I want to talk about them because they are so important with this. And I also am going to after this do a question to put out to everybody. Um, so if you go and have a look in my videos, you'll probably find it because I just want some opinions and views. Um, so that's that's today's report, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, and hopefully it'll be a bit brighter. Okay, see you. Bye bye.